Differences in digital audio. Well, this is an interesting question. It comes to us from Remy in the Netherlands. And Remy writes, Hi, Paul. First of all, thank you for all your very interesting and helpful videos. You are most welcome, my friend. In a few of your videos, you've taught, oh, here's where they're going <laughs> to. See, we start out real nice, and now we're going to get down to it. In a few of your videos, you've talked about digital audio sources and digital interlinks. You say that you can hear the difference in, say, a digital interlink, meaning a, a digital cable, and even in different network cables. As an IT person, oh God, now I know I'm in trouble. Um, that sounds rather weird. Indeed, it does. Music uh, streams across a network cable on a regular home or business network uh, is transported using TCP um, packets. Uh, they're complete with error correction and the acknowledgement of delivery of the destination device, like your streamers. And as far as I'm aware, there's also a bit of a buffer that should smooth out the timing of the arrival. So I'm wondering, how could you could you please elaborate on what differences you hear and perhaps why it's possible? Well, Remy, yeah, you know, we get into this all the time. So on its face, what I tell you seems impossible, right? I mean, we know that I can take a digital audio signal and I can make a file of that signal. I can then use anything from my phone to a computer to send it all the way over to Remy in the Netherlands. And it's going to go through, I mean, who knows? It's going over the internet, for God's sakes. It's not like I got a pipe over to Remy's house, right? Remy has an address. I have an address. And we send these packets of data um, to Remy. And it goes out onto the web. And it, it, maybe some of the packets go this way. Some of the packets go that way. They're not going in a straight stream. They're going all over the place. And they all kind of wind up at Remy's address, collects up in this buffer. He turns it into music, or maybe he stores it on his hard drive, and it comes over bit perfect. Doesn't matter that it went, half of it went by satellite, the other half went by underground cable, and it doesn't matter about the quality of the cable. When he gets that file, it's perfect, right? Definitely perfect. So what in the hell is McGowan talking about the difference that a USB cable makes? or the difference that um, any cable makes when it concerns digital audio? Well, the very simple answer is it makes no difference whatsoever to the actual packets and the actual data. If you take a good sounding digital cable and a bad sounding digital cable, and you look at incoming data versus received data, it will be the same, absolutely the same, bit for bit, no difference. So what's different? Well, there's all kinds of things that aren't specific to those individual datas. All right, so data isn't just data uh, in, in the same way that shoes aren't just shoes. Um, yes, we all walk in shoes. Um, you know, underpants aren't underpants. It's just, you know, we're, we're talking about, that's eh, probably a terrible analogy. <laughs> Forget that analogy. That was stupid. That was dumb. But bits are bits. Now, those bits have details in them, like jitter, timing, and noise. Okay? So noise is something very real. Does it change the actual data of the bit? No, 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 no. But Noise has huge ramifications throughout sensitive electronics like DACs and things. We know, for example, and I don't have the time to explain all of this, and I honestly don't know the answer to all of it. I just know what does have an effect and what doesn't. So here's a really good example for Remy, and you can just contemplate on that. Now that we know the bits are always going to be the same. In our new Perfect Wave SACD transport, we made a huge, huge, huge improvement in sound by galvanically isolating the output stage. And we do it with what's called an air gap interface. Um, and it's basically 
There's no physical connection at all. It travels through the air. Look, Ma, I ain't got no wires. So there's no wires, there's no power supply, and it's as clean as it could possibly be. So over here, where we're making all the bits, it's very noisy. And where we connect the final bits, it goes through the air, there's no power supply connection, and it goes over to this little island of, of, of digitalness that we've spent a lot of time with perfecting the clocks and low jitter this and low jitter that, low noise this and low that. So that what comes out is very low noise, very low jitter. And the difference in sound quality is huge, huge, as the New Yorkers like to say. The bits are all the same, but they have lower jitter and lower noise because of this and they sound amazingly different. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of insight to your question. All right. Thanks for asking it. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.